Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I'm sorry, it's like almost 6 o'clock now. I left school early because I was sick today, well-ish. I only got three hours of sleep last night and I think that messed up my system a bit because I was having huge stomach pain I couldn't eat anything because my stomach was hurting. If I ate anything, it would make it worse. So then I was getting really lightheaded and I couldn't think and I was getting really dizzy and it wasn't good. So I went home and I was at my mom's house where I don't want my camera and I just got home about an hour ago and I was watching your videos and then doing Facebook stuff. But yeah, now I'm here. I really missed your face, Susan. Your face should come back because I really want to see it tomorrow because I kind of like your face. Scarlet, uh, I kind of agree. Like, I feel the same way. I was, I'm friends with nerdy people. I am nerdy, but in Fighteria, I, I met so many more nerdy people and it was good stuff and I really like it. Okay, and Muda, my thoughts are with you and your family and I really hope that things get better. Brenda, I Facebook creeped you a little bit. I didn't look at the gym leader pictures, but I was going through your album and I really like your Halloween costume because it was really cool and I'm kind of jealous. Oh, 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 Brenda, I remember what I was going to say to you now. I remember what I was going to say to you. Okay, Darren Chris, I love him. Oh, he's my celebrity crush. And then in Very Potter Musical, oh. Oh my gosh, she's amazing, and I have his album, and I'm so happy you watched Eastwick, because no one watched Eastwick, and Eastwick was a good show, and of course, I know you know what I'm talking about. Right as they get to the climax of the show, they cancel it. I was so pissed. Oh, and did you know that he originally, uh, that Darren Chris originally auditioned for Glee, but they rejected him, and then, hmm, as soon as he gets popular with this, all this very popular musical stuff in his album, they're like, hey, come back on the show, but I've actually seen it yet, so I'm hoping as soon as I finish my homework, I can do that tonight. And yeah, so I'm really hoping for that. I don't want to be one of those makeup tutorials, show off what I've got. What are those called? I don't know what they're called. But you know, they show off what they get and how much it costs. But there's something I really want to show you. There's this awesome stuff that I ordered from Canada. Anyway, I got some lip scrub that is smells like bubble gum. Like, you know, the old bubble gum that you get when you're a kid. And all it is is sugar and then like some moisturizing oils. And it's amazing. So. You scrub on your lips and it gets exfoliates them and it gets all the dead grossness off, like you know the stuff makes your lips chapped, all that grossness. It scrubs all that off and then there's like sugar on your lips, so you can eat that. And then I got new lip balm. I it's all this organic and vegan and stuff like that. So and I have sensitive skin, so it's like the only stuff that doesn't make my lips peel, which is really awesome because I hate it when my lips peel. And this is like a lip tint and it smells like Christmas because it's one of their holiday things and it tastes like Christmas spice and I like it a lot because I feel so festive even though it's not Thanksgiving yet I don't know I like it I'm trying to get in the Christmas spirit a little bit but I still hate Christmas music I still hate Christmas music hate me <laughs> hate me if you want to but I hate Christmas music it goes on forever it never ends my mom always played it she's one of those people who played it before Thanksgiving even started and that just forever annoyed me. The only time I can listen to it is when we're singing it in a choir, and that's it. I'm not a Christmas music person. I guess, like, in doses, I can listen to it. But, however, you guys should check this out. Sufjan Stevens, they have a Christmas album. They're a really good indie band. You should listen to it, because it's really good. Brenda, I was gonna say something else to you. Oh, okay, about Glee. I had a lot to say to you today. I agree, it was a lot better. Well, the pilot episode was amazing. And then the first episode that they did, like, the first actual episode after the pilot that was amazing okay it had a lot of really dirty innuendos but it was so funny oh good stuff like you know gag reflex joke if you know what i'm talking about and i don't know i like how in the first scene that they had an actual goal that they're going for but so far in the second season i mean they have their goal is to get to nationals but they haven't actually shown any working towards that and then everything every episode is just its own little sub story that doesn't contribute at all to the big picture like in the first season there's Quinn's pregnancy which went on through the whole thing and then there was like the romance between um Jesse and Rachel and just like the stuff going on with with Finn and Quinn and Puck and I don't know it was there's a lot more going on this there's stuff going on but it's like its own little separate sub story like, okay I just have a question for you am I the only one who knows this giant gaping plot hole in Glee with Jesse and Rachel. It's like, oh, I like her, but then he egged her and he didn't even show them breaking up and it's so confusing and I don't know what's on. It's like they cut out a whole episode. I don't understand. Well, that's where I'm gonna leave my video for today because I have homework to do and stuff and I don't want to be up till 2.30 doing homework again because that is not fun. Susan, I really hope I get to see you tomorrow. 